Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. The minimum electricity retailer contribution to South Australia's solar feed-in tariff has increased. As of this month, the contribution is now 7.1 cents per kilowatt hour fed back into the grid, on top of the 16 cents paid by the distributor. In July this year, this will go up again to 9.8 cents. Next year, the tariff will increase again, with a review to be conducted for 2014 onwards. The Essential Services Commission of South Australia said that the new tariff reflected the fair and reasonable value on feed-in electricity to retailers. A solar-powered remote road monitoring system has been installed to provide safety to Queenslanders during recent floods. The solar-powered Eagle Eye roadside monitoring camera and level sensor is currently monitoring the behavior of flood water at some critical points in Queensland's road network. By providing real-time images to the Department of Transport and Main Roads, the system allows for better management of flood risks. A Perth-based company plans to construct a massive solar updraft tower in the Midwest region of Western Australia. The 200-megawatt project will consist of a central tube containing a turbine surrounded by a large collector area like a sheet suspended above the ground. When the sun hits the sheeting, it heats the ground and the air below it. The heated air rises through the tube, spins the turbine and generates electricity. While construction costs for solar updraft towers are high, operation and maintenance costs are low and do not require any water for cooling. Photon laboratory testing determined REC solar panels produce 6% more electricity on average than competing panels. REC has consistently scored highly over the past few years in the photon field performance test, which measures how many kilowatt hours a module generates in a year in real-world conditions. The results published in the industry magazine Photon Profi state that the highest performance ratio and also the highest yield were measured by the REC module. REC panels have become a common sight on the rooftops of Australian homes after Energy Matters introduced them to the market in June 2010. Demand rapidly grew, resulting in Energy Matters entering into a 20 megawatt purchase agreement with REC, one of the largest single solar module supply agreements in Australian history. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check the Energy Matters website for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.